This video will teach you how to make and duplicate large concrete statues. Can you tell which one is the original? First, create your mold box. For best results, use wood that has been sealed and spray it with a heavy coat of mold release. This mold box is 12 inches by 18 inches by 29 inches. We made sure that the mold box was at least one inch thick around the entire statue. It is also a good idea to fill in all the cracks where your liquid mold making material composite mold could escape. I use silicone caulking to fill in the gaps and cracks. If you want to guarantee the composite mold won't escape, fill the mold box with water and see if it can hold without any problems. Make sure your master is sealed and coated with mold release, then place it in the mold box and spray it with a heavy coat of bubble buster. Bubble buster is a great way to prevent bubbles from sticking to your part by breaking surface tension allowing bubbles to rise to the surface. We melted the composite mold in a 55 gallon drum using heat belts with a maximum temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We used about 250 pounds of composite mold for this project. So I made the mold box, poured the composite mold, and now it's time to demold it. For a large project like this, wait 24 hours before removing the mold box. If it still feels soft, it is not finished cooling. We chose to pour the mold box in one part, which means that we have to cut the mold in order to get the original statue out. This process does work, however, I would highly recommend creating a parting line ahead of time by inserting a plastic sheet where you want the mold to come apart before pouring the composite mold. This will make demolding a lot easier and a nicer looking mold. Once you do get the original out of the mold, coat it with mold release and put the two halves back together in the mold box and prepare it for cement. I used Pro Finish 5000 made by Quickcrete, which can be found at most hardware stores. Pro Finish 5000 works great with composite mold and only takes 14 hours to cure. I mixed 80 pounds of cement with one gallon of water, then poured it into the mold one section at a time, making sure all the areas of the dog fill, especially the nose. The hammer drill works great for vibrating the mold, allowing the cement to flow throughout the mold. The cement should be removed from the mold after 14 hours to allow it to finish curing. Gently remove the duplicate from the mold to prevent cracking and damage. Admire your creation, then create more or remelt the mold and make a new mold. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends, leave a comment, and visit us at composimold.com.